Hello, hello, and welcome to What is Crypto? I'm Matt, and this is Crypto. Today, I'm going to be talking to you about Node AI, ticker signal, GPU. But firstly, a little bit about my channel. Here I give to the point crypto information and education and talk all things crypto. I try to keep things short and sweet as time is money and money is more coins and tokens to fill up those bags. So if that sounds like it could be for you, then smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and let's get into it. So Node AI, GPU, looking at it currently, I'm honestly pretty pleased with how it's held up considering all that's going on in the market. We're currently down about 45% from all time highs. However, we have held this decent resistance mark at the dollar 45 and we are looking pretty bullish comparatively to other cryptos. A lot of things have nuked in the range of 60 to 80%, but Node AI has held up pretty well. Not that I'll get into politics too much, but there is a war going on and the war with fears of it escalating has sparked a massive sell off in Bitcoin and crypto with 500 billion being wiped from the price. A lot of altcoins have been bleeding, especially a lot of on-chain plays, including AI crypto have been bleeding excessively. A quick recap of Node AI. So currently we're trading at a market cap of 142 million. And if you're not familiar with the project, pretty much it's a decentralized platform using blockchain technology to allow our users to rent and use GPU and AI resources. Really, it allows people to utilize AI and GPU by submitting their computational tasks, which are then distributed over the Node AI network for completion. Looking at their Twitter, you can also see that they've now got over 30,000 holders and they're also developing their own layer one. This is a pretty cool technology and it is important as AI integration is fairly inevitable into almost all workplaces. GPU needs are escalating. You only need to look at NVIDIA that are now the third largest company in the world who manufacture GPUs. It is a very hot narrative and I think it's one that's going to perform really well this cycle. I think AI in general is bullish and I think a GPU in AI is exceptionally bullish. Also legends, as you know, crypto is exceptionally risky and none of this is financial advice, but I do quite like the price that we have of GPU at the moment. I've got three key ranges. So currently I really want us to hold the $1.45 mark. I do have some buy orders in at around the 90 cent mark in case we do get any of these wicks. I had some buy orders in that got filled at around the dollar 10, but I have lowered some buy orders as well in case we do wick lower. I don't know if we will, I actually don't think we will, but it's always something to prepare for. GPU is one of my high conviction plays and I'm only adding to my bags when we get discounts like these. When I would be starting to get concerned is if we did hold consistently below the 75 and continued to trend lower over a period of weeks to months. I don't think this is going to happen though, um, although it is crypto, so anything is possible. If you look at where we are in the cycle of Bitcoin, we are almost at the halving and pre-halving and around the halving, we've always had around a 25% wick down and then some stagnation. That was a 40% wick down and some stagnation over some months. Currently, we're in a very, very similar place where we were down from all time highs, yeah, around that 19% mark. If you zoom out, we're not actually down a great deal, although it does feel pretty bloody in the markets at the moment. Uncertainties with war also quite often do negatively affect both crypto and stock markets, something to definitely be aware of. Back to GPU though, I'm really bullish on this project long term and I think it's one that's going to do exceptionally well. If you didn't have any Node AI and you wanted to get an entry, I'd be watching these levels quite closely. If we do bounce off this level, Bitcoin's trending higher and we do begin to trend higher again, then I think an entry would be great. If Bitcoin can continues to trend lower, especially if Bitcoin breaks through the 61K mark, especially if it gets down to around the 59K mark, things could get pretty bloody. If things do get bloody, I think having a buy order in at around the 90 cent mark is a really decent idea. If you want to accumulate some GPU, we might get these flash crashes or these wicks. And if you can buy them up, you can get yourself a very, very good price. Awesome. That'll be it for today. If you have any questions or if there's anything you want to know, any projects you want to cover, or if you just want to say hi, drop down into the comments. I always love to see all of your comments. I really appreciate it. I appreciate you and I'll catch you in the next one.